Hello everyone, my name is Susan Oxnavad and I'm the ThingLink Education Community Manager. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a ThingLink. If you're an educator, you want to make sure you're working on our education side. Go to www.thinglink.com edu and choose the option that says I'm a teacher. Here you can select our EDU Basic Free account or the EDU Premium account. And on the next page, you can sign up for your teacher account. The easiest way to do it is to log in with Google if you have a Google account, or type in your username and password and click Sign Up for Free. Once you're logged in, you can begin creating. Click the Create button here. Every Thing Link starts with an image. There are a variety of ways you can get an image for use into Thing Link. You can upload it, import it from Facebook, import it from Flickr, or copy and paste the web address of any image you find on the web. For this demonstration, let's upload an image. So I select Upload and then I choose. When you find the image you're looking for, just double click on it and it will appear in ThingLink. The image appears in editing mode so it's ready to be tagged. Give it a title and then click to add a tag. You can start with something simple by just adding text in the text box and dragging the icon over to where it belongs. And then you can even change your icon to symbolize that this is just text and save it. And there you've created your first tag. A really great thing about ThingLink is that it supports rich media tags. A rich made media tag, like I'm going to demonstrate here, will bring the media right on the page so students don't have to click out. So let me show you how to make a rich media tag. First, I click here and I'm going to add a video. So let me change to a video tag. And then I just copy and paste the link from YouTube right into the box. And I can add text if I want. And it shows up live on the page. So I can actually play a video. Now I can save the tag and add another. Another great rich media tag supported by ThingLink is audio. You can record or find a sound on AudioBoom or SoundCloud and tag it on ThingLink and the sound will pop up right on the page. So here, let me click on the Jaguar to add a tag. Now I'm going to change this to a sound icon so my students know that they'll be listening to sound. And it's right there. And then I copy and paste the link from the sound from AudioBoom. And it also shows up right on the page and it can be played right there. And finally, I'd like to show you how you can integrate Google Docs into a lesson. So here I'm going to create another tag. And this time it's a link to a Google form. I copy and paste it into the box and I change my icon and the form shows up live on the page. The beauty of this is students can actually fill it out right here and then they can submit it without having to leave the page. When you're all done tagging your image, just click Save. You can go back in at any time and add additional tags by clicking on the Edit button and then saving it again. When you're done with your interactive image, it's easy to share. Just click on the share button on the right side of the page and you can either grab the link or grab the embed code to post it on your wiki or your website or on your blog. So that's how to create a thing link. If you have any questions, please email me at susan at thinglink.com.